There is a trend, uh, an increasing trend of antibiotic resistance, but I don't think it should be uh, regarded as a, as a fear for normal people. Antibiotics and antibiotic resistance are natural phenomena. Antibiotics are produced by naturally living organisms, bacteria and fungi that uh, live in soil and the uh, resistance uh, developed in this organism as a form of protection uh, to avoid uh, self-suicide. Uh, what is uh, the human contribution to the problem is the use of antibiotics. It's like allowing resistant bacteria to enter the clinical environment, uh, to colonize our body and become a problem. We use antibiotics for treating ourselves in the community, in the hospitals, of course, and in livestock production to make production more effective and to avoid uh, animal welfare problems. And then also in our households, one on, on, once in a while, we may treat uh, our pets with antibiotics. Remember that also your household pet can be a reservoir of antibiotic-resistant bacteria. Most of these bacteria are opportunistic pathogens, so they colonize our body without causing any, any infection. And then the trouble comes when, when you have a serious disease. But when I say serious disease, I mean cancer, organ transplantation, uh, very old people over 70 years old. They are the categories at risk. There is like a communication blackout uh, right now in Denmark, where different stakeholders, including researchers, journalists, politicians, uh, have their own responsibility. And I think the message we are sending to layout people is that this is a huge problem and this is a bit overemphasized. If you compare northern countries, Scandinavian countries, to southern European countries, the northern countries do not have or have very few resistance problems, but they discuss a lot about the problem, whereas in the southern countries the problem is not deba debated on the media, but they have a lot of problems in the hospitals. MRSA, you have heard about this word before, MRSA, isn't it? It's the bug that is associated with pigs. So in Denmark we have a prevalence of about 1, 1.5% in bloodstream infections. So I'm talking about serious infections. And uh, on average, you know, in all the other European countries, uh, the prevalence is 22%. We know that every year, five, six people die of MRSA in Denmark. And uh, in contrast, about 300, 350 people in Denmark die every year because of normal, normal Staphorus, so Staphorus that is not meticillin resistant. And one of the things I wonder as a research, if it, is, uh, if it is fair actually to focus all the attention on the five people that are dying because of antibiotic resistance and forget completely the 300, 350 people that die because of bacteria that are not resistant. Denmark is a model in Europe about use of antibiotics and low levels of antibiotic resistance. But still there is this discussion that is completely crazy within the country. Maybe, maybe there is an explanation. Maybe the situation is so good because we have this discussion. Maybe we should see it in a constructive way that these data are a consequence of this discussion that has started many, many years ago in Denmark. The people shouldn't fear antibiotic resistance, at least not this way the way we are doing uh, now, and you can uh, uh, live a happy life uh, with the multidrug resistant bag in your nose uh, without paying the consequences of that.